All right, Mr. Teleferro TV, how's everybody doing out there? So, if you've watched the first game of the NBA postseason, you are kind of shocked, just like I am, that Philadelphia looked that lethargic at times off offensively. And their defense was pretty lethargic at best <laughs> defensively against the Brooklyn Nets. Now, if y'all watched any of my reviews yesterday, I told y'all that's a seven-game series. And Joel Embiid was questionable up into tip-off, and he played. He wasn't that good, but he gave it his all, and he played. It wasn't just him, by the way. He at least gave it his all. By the way, like, I told y'all, if you watch my video, I did a preview on every NBA playoff series yesterday. I picked Philadelphia in seven, but I flat foot said, I said, if Brooklyn is in the game, with two to three minutes to go, I'm telling you, they're going to be in the game with, in, in game one and game two in Philly. And I said, if Joel Embiid doesn't play, Brooklyn's going to possibly win that series, right? Again, I got Philly in seven, but let's make it clear. Brooklyn can win that series. They're the most dangerous team to me in the playoffs. Right? At least give me a little credit. Now, I didn't expect Brooklyn to, to blow the, the Philadelphia 76ers out. I didn't expect that. And I, I thought if Joel Embiid could go, I thought Philly had a great chance of winning. Especially game one. Brooklyn ain't been in the playoffs in quite some time. D'Angelo Russell, his first playoff uh, appearance, like, yo, they got confident as hell and start shooting the lights out of the basketball. I want to stick with Joel Embiid here. I'm going to do a whole video on Ben Simmons. I'm going to get to him and his shit. Trust me. But let's talk about Joel Embiid. There is a clip that's going on around the internet right now, a viral clip of Joel Embiid and I think Amir Johnson, I believe, slipped him his phone and they're looking at something on their phone. Right, you know, during the game, and they're losing this game. Excuse me. Uh, I don't know if anything happened. I doubt it. It looked like they were just casually looking at something fun on their phone. You're not supposed to have phones on the bench. That's a fine, by the way. Somebody's going to get fined for that. And it's honestly disgusting to look at in a loss. If the Philadelphia 76ers had been winning that game, people would have saw it, and it wouldn't have went as viral as it is right now. The point is, you lost your game, the game, and you're losing the game, and you're on your phone. That can't happen. That just cannot happen right now, in the, especially in the playoffs. If that happens in the regular season, again, fine. And, and, you know, it is what it is. Even in a loss, in the regular season, nobody really cares. In the playoffs, and you lost, oh, you on your phone. Fans paying thousands of dollars for some of them playoff tickets. Yeah, that's not going to go over well, you know? And I'm going to be honest, speaking on Joel and B. There are, there are reports out there that he's not doing the, the best to take care of his body. And I'm talking about like what he's putting in his body. I've heard that report a few times by people I trust. He's not doing the greatest job of taking care of his body. All right, MB, you're already super big. So maybe you got teammates who are around 6'2", 6'3", that can get away with a little bit of a lackadaisical diet because they're smaller than you are. You are already up against it, my brother. At seven, what is he? Seven one, seven two. The size he has, the quickness that he has, that agility at that size. The body is just not supposed to be able to do the things that he can do at, at that height. And you know, and beat. I, I hate to say this, I don't think he makes it to the age of thirty in the NBA. Now, now, now I don't want to be disrespectful to Joel and B by any means. It is going to be tough for him to make it to thirty. What's his age right now? I'm gonna look that up as this video continues. I just don't see this guy staying around the league too long. He's 25 right now. So I just looked that up. He's 25. So guys like Yao Ming, Shaquille O'Neal, their bodies broke down on them around that age, around 30. And they were healthier at 25 than what Embiid is right now. His body is breaking down. I'm not sure Joel Embiid makes it to the, to the age of 30 in the NBA. I'm not sure about that. He's not going to have a long career. And I said all that to say. I brought up the phone incident to bring it all together right now for you, ladies and gentlemen. Joel B needs to be focused on winning championships right now. Uh, he doesn't have the 10 years. Like Giannis, if Giannis wins a ring right now, it would be great. We probably consider him the best in the game if he won one this year. Great, right? Giannis got time. Giannis looks pretty healthy. Barring a setback or an injury uh, that we don't expect, Giannis looks, he looks pretty good. Uh, Joel Embiid might got three or four years at this, you know, at playing the game the way he's playing it right now to win. 
You don't need to be on your damn phone. You need to be down on the bench talking to Ben Simmons trying to cheer him up because he can't make a damn job to save his life. I to be. Okay. You don't got too many years in this game. It's going to pass by you specifically. Your teammates, they can, they can chit-chat and kiki with you on the bench, but they're going to have 10 years left. And you're the best player on that Philadelphia 76 team by far. But you're going to only be doing that for three or four more years. I came from nothing, but I want everything God has for me. I interview celebrities. I talk sports. I still represent the culture. I got the kids. They who are now tuned in. Tuned in. Yo, we locked in right now, Mr. Telefair. Mr. Telefair. Mr. Telefair. Mr. Telefair. Shout out to Mr. Telefair. You're watching Mr. Telefair TV. Mr. Telefair TV. Here with the Triple B's. You can't do nothing but win.